Aaron Glenn changed how the Saints secondary prepared for games last season. The secondary always studied the tendencies of other teams and got a feel for how offenses wanted to attack them. But Glenn, who joined the team as a secondary coach last season, took it to a different level. We didn't use to do it as much until Glenn got here, safety Kenny Vaccaro said. Knowing what plays are coming and when to expect them. We do a lot more of that now, and he's done a good job of helping us understand. That's the biggest reason for our turnaround right now, and having better players. The New Orleans secondary used to be one that quarterbacks and fantasy football players looked forward to facing each week. Over the previous three seasons, the group was one of the worst units in the NFL. This year, it's tied for ninth with 207 passing yards allowed and is sixth in interceptions with 14, adding players like cornerback Marshawn Lattimore and safety Marcus Williams in the draft has helped, but talent can only go so far when it isn't prepared to perform. Glenn's growth as a coach and teacher in the past year has helped turn preparation into results. The New Orleans Saints have a period during nearly every practice in which the offensive linemen gather on the sideline and high step over S. As last season progressed, Glenn's players noticed that he started paring down his presentations. Instead of throwing a ton of information at them, he showed them only the things that could help. It also helped when Glenn realized some players learned differently and tailored his approach to ensure all the information was received and processed. He just came into this year, lay it all out, nothing hard, cornerback Ken Crawley said. Gives you straight up what the teams do, and I think it's very effective. Early each week, Glenn gives his players a handful of things to study and ask them to come back with what they noticed. He then then further simplifies what they're seeing. The chief goal is to find a way to identify an opponent's staple plays. When those come up, the handful of plays the offense likes to run often with success, Glenn wants to be sure his players are identifying them quickly and making plays. But he also makes sure the secondary has a grasp on all other tendencies based on formations, down and distance red zone and when the offense likes to attempt high-risk, high-reward plays. The only time the defense has experienced issues this season is at the beginning of games. The Saints have allowed five field goals and four touchdowns on 13 opening drives this season. On the second drive of games, the scoring average drops to 46.2%. Combined, on all other drives, the rate is 28.7%. The New Orleans Saints are planning to have Alvin Kamara back in the lineup against the New York Jets. There's a reason for this. The first 15 or 20 plays in a game are typically scripted and tailored to expose something within the opposition. There are few tendencies to study until teams exhaust those plays, even against the good defenses. The first 15 plays, even a bad defense will move the ball at will. Vaccaro said. But it gets back to what they're doing, and it all evens out. You just have to weather the storm because they script it, they practice it all week, so they're operating at a high level. Then they get back to the junk they always do on film, and you expect it. This raises an interesting thought why don't teams script more plays if there is so much success? During those opening series, it would be impossible to script a whole game because there are so many variables but why not push it out to 25 or 30 plays? The reason is that something often happens to blow up the early plan, and offenses are forced to go off script, you put a script together for more than 15 plays. And this has happened to us even this year, maybe what we thought we were getting defensively up in Buffalo was a little different, coach Sean Payton said. Quickly you might stick with the first grouping of plays, but right away it formulates a direction you might want to go. And that might be different than what's expected, that's when a team goes back to the regular offense and staple plays. Once that happens, the Saints secondary sits back and waits for the opponent to fall back on its tendencies. Follow Nick Underhill on Twitter, at Nick underscore Underhill.